unlike some folks, I don't mind being corrected. So I'm paraphrasing because I may be in error. I might not have, or I'm not telling the exact story. So I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I believe it was the story of the Native American Geronimo where he was talking about what he had to do to marry his wife. And what happens is he went to the father Oh yeah, back in the day, in, in some society, even even in America, a lot of times you had to go. You have to go to the to the family. You have to go to the father to get a date. Ask, can I date your daughter? Well, I, I ain't asking nobody nothing. <laughs> That's our attitude now. You see a female on the street or whatever, and you just, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. You don't. Know, Care nothing about what the father. Not too long ago, even in America, you want to date a sister, you have to go see, as a male, you have to go talk to her daddy, get permission. And in many cultures, you don't just roll out, see some woman, and you're going to pick her up. No, you, you can like her, but you're going to have to meet daddy. You're going to have to meet the family. You're going to have to get their permission to talk to their relative, to my daughter. We saw this a lot on the sitcom um, Good Times. But you know, Thelma was sort of rebellious. She would also date in secret. But, but most times, you bring the boy home and James Evans be waiting on you. Or, or even on the Cosby show. Dr. Huxtable be waiting on you. So in this case, we have Geronimo, who would grow up to be a great uh, Native American leader. He want to get with this uh, uh, female go to the family, have to go to the father. I would like to marry your daughter. Do you? Woo, that makes a lot of people nervous. <laughs> but you know, you can be nervous, but when nature calls, you got to do what a brother got to do what a brother got to do. <laughs> you want to marry my daughter, I need three horses. Now, mind you, the horse is not a native of America. They were imported here from other places, the, the horses. And they were new to Native Americans. Native Americans did a lot of walking. They did not ride horses. Europeans brought the horse and some of them they got free and some of them turned wild and all that kind of good stuff. But there were no wild horses. There was no... Where, where is Geronimo going to get these horses? Now there might have been some wild horses. We don't know. But if you want to marry my daughter, that's what I want. I want three horses. So Geronimo says, yes sir. There is no negotiating. There is no what I want. The father said, "This is this is if you want my daughter. This is non-negotiable. We want three horses." So Geronimo messed around and brought back seven horses, more than what was required. And Geronimo got married and all like that. So, 
I'm bringing this story up because at one time a man had to qualify. You had to earn the right to be with a woman. There are societies and civilizations, there's tribes. If you do not qualify to be a man or a woman, you are denied reproduction rights because you don't qualify. So as a man, you must show that you can protect your woman, protect your tribe. You must show that you are a warrior, that you can build a hut, you can build a house. In modern times, you need to show that you can build your house. You have plumbing skills. You know how to fix a car. You have to qualify. Takes more than just looking cute. With a big booty and big breasts. We have no manhood training. Well, because we're not a people. But if the black man and woman... So, brothers and sisters in this country, if we were a people, it would be wise and it would be advantageous that we create manhood and womanhood training. Most importantly, manhood training because the man is supposed to be the protector and the provider. And you have to earn. Now, we are born men. Sisters that they are born That's natural You shouldn't have to be taught But unfortunately in this society Some of us are gender confused So we probably have to be taught What's supposed to be natural What is manhood? Manhood Is the qualifications and the criteria That a society Puts on a male In their society it's the hood over them. And we already know that you're a man. But this is the hood that we put over you. This is the criteria that you're going to have to live up to in order to be in the society. In America, there's no such thing. So you got a bunch of pussy hungry men running around and dick hungry women. And they producing low quality human beings. And you wonder, what happened? Why they act like that? Because you don't have high quality people producing offspring. And you're not putting no effort. Once the offspring get here, there's no effort put into that offspring. So they are low quality. But what do you expect? Because the parents is low quality. You should be denied putang. You should be denied. You should be denied dingaling. Unless you qualify. We should understand our roles. However, if a woman, there's nothing wrong with a woman wanting to do certain things that men do. There's nothing wrong with that. These are skills. You should do not, not deny people education. We should not deny people skills because of their sexual, of their sexual gender. But for men or for women, for them to qualify, certain things is a must. The man must know how to build a house, plumbing, carpentry, how to fix cars. These are a must. You must show that you're a warrior. You must be part of the military. I think in America, at one time, you had to go to the service for at least two years. You had to serve your country for at least two years. They, they did do that, I believe, here in America. You must show that you are a warrior. But right now, we have no manhood training. Just a bunch of 
sex crazed maniacs that have no control over their genitalia. You should be so much in control of your genitalia. If you get it, that's cool. If you don't, it's cool. This society has made you a bunch of sex maniacs. And sex is an emotion and with sex comes emotion and with any emotion that you do not control causes improper thinking you are not able to make proper choices so in America the divorce court is always in session. Women break up the makeup every day. There's no criteria, there's no qualifications. It's just people, it's just a big ass orgy. Give me some dingling, give me some putang. That's what it's all about. Every Saturday, every Friday. Why are you going to the club? I want to get drunk. Try to get me some putang. Girl, why are you? Because I want to get drunk. Give me some putang. I'm, ooh. Well, well, nowadays, they, they do. <laughs> some of the men go out to club because they're looking for dangling too. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> you in a position, if you're talking to a woman, it might not be a woman. You're talking to a man, might not be a man, might be, this person might have been born a, 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 a man. So it's all messed up in this society. That's why it's important that we become a people and create a brand new different environment so that we can be more in a natural state. But don't raise the criteria so high that the men cannot attain the criteria or the women. But we must qualify. So you have all these people out here that should not have babies, spitting babies out every day. They don't even want babies. But if they had to but if they had to go through manhood, womanhood training, you will see those. Because you're going to have to earn the right to bring life into the, into the earth. You're going to have to earn the right You're going to have to earn the right To be called a man. You're going to have to earn the right. To be a woman. So manhood training. And womanhood training is important. If you just go out and ask people. What is a man? What is a woman? You have all these different answers. There shouldn't be. Numerous, well, I think answers. No. In our community, among our people, this is what you must do to qualify to be called a man or a woman. This is what you must do in order to prove that you're worthy to give birth to the next generation. You don't want any kind of trash, low quality trash, bringing up the next generation. And you wonder why we are in the condition. That, that we're in. Anybody can just spit out our children. Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it.